Hey guys, it's uh, me Gabriel. I know it's been a really long time since I last posted a video, but I'm finally back again with another gas mask. I thought you probably presumed that this wouldn't happen. And I really haven't abandoned the uh, YouTube channel, but I've been mostly working on uh, my uh, website, donordie.com. Maybe you guys have seen it, I'll put a link in the description. Um, so, without further ado, here's my first Serbian mask, the uh, CRM30. Now today I'm just going, it's basically a, an unboxing video so I'm not really going to explain much about the history and information about the mask. Um, I'm rather just going to show you what comes with the kit. And uh, later this week I'll be posting a video regarding uh, the history and information um, of this mask. Um, so basically let's start looking at the carrier. It's pretty much uh, different than the... Uh, uh, M2 carrier, even though the mask, the face piece is the same. Um, this is a mask that was used by a rocket uh, fuel handler, so there was a heavy duty filter issued with the M2 face piece. Over here we have a, a hole for the tube, it's held by Velcro. That was the filter, it's like a 3 kilo filter apparently. And this is the bottom, uh, the bottom hole which is used for uh, the passage of air. Um, air passes through here and goes into the filter, filters and into the face piece. What's cool about this is that there's a velcro here and velcro here so it can be either held in an open position, doesn't say flapping about, or held in a closed position. Anyway, here we have uh, some markings on the carrier. We have CRM30 which is the designation of the mask. Uh, ultimately, I think it has to do with the uh, the name is uh, brought about by um, uh, from the filter because the filter is, as far as I believe, is named uh, um, the CRM30 filter. And here's a, a code over here. Maybe it's a serial code, or there could possibly be the date that is uh, January 1999. Anyway, finally, I'm going to open the mask, now oh, the carrier, which is what probably you've been waiting for for these last few minutes. There's this is the um, the carrier is held by uh, is is held closed by Velcro. Now we're going to start taking out the components. So here we have the standard M2 face piece, uh, size S. That's uh, medium. Uh, I'll uh, keep you guys updated on what the S stands for later on. Here we have in this compartment over here we have. This is actually quite heavy. It's, uh, it's the CRM30 filter. It was made in 1999. I'll actually have to see how heavy this is. I'll actually weigh it. Now, most of these things were made by Trial, which is a Serbian company. This is um, technical manual, probably. It says Technici uh, Carton. So I'm presuming that. That has to do with uh, it being a technical manual. Manual. This is um, potentially the uh, instructions or some other document which I need to get translated eventually. Here we have a uh, set of gloves. 
think these are M4 gloves. I, I, I may be wrong on this, so I'll correct myself if so in the next video. This is the hose. And finally we have the LPD M3 uh, personal decontamination kit. Uh, now what this was was like a, a glove that went over the hand and neutralized the nerve agents. But I'll explain that in the next video. This is the inside of the carrier. There are uh, many compartments. Oh, um, there's something else here. I forgot to mention these. These are the... Um, um, these are clots which are used to um, I'm not sure exactly maybe for personal decontamination or possibly for cleaning the face piece but I'll, I'll get to that in the next video yeah this is ultimately what came in in the carrier there aren't much uh, things except for the compartments being quite uh, or they, they organize the uh, the carrier out pretty well, and I'm pretty pleased with this. So basically, this is the the uh, kit that comes with the CRM30. Um, as you guys may have noticed, everything is still mint and sealed. However, I think I'm going to uh, end up opening this just to prevent any damage done to the. Uh, um, uh, to the face piece and uh, the other components as of um, uh, dehydrating agents found for preserve uh, found on the mask which preserve it from uh, humidity and whatnot but this can also have a negative effect on the rubber of the mask as it will dry it out so uh, I, I think that I'll be opening these up for the next video except for the um, LPD M3 which I I think I'm going to keep um, closed. So ultimately that's the uh, end of this video. Um, sorry if I've been rambling on but I'm really tired. I'm beyond tired because of school. I'll see you all in the next video.